Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Uh, welcome to the webinar uh, series number four on the exploring criteria and indicator for tropical heatland uh, restoration. This is the fourth because we would like to synthesize uh, the first three webinar. So it's nice to have you here, especially those who are new, not in the previous webinar, but uh, for those who were there before, welcome back. Uh, nice to see you again. Uh, we were told that we have around 200 participants registering. So we hope we will be having more and more people joining later. But um, while we are waiting for them, I just would like to thank to all the resource person that we have today. It's been amazing to have your response, positive response that we have more than 20 people uh, being the uh, panel member, uh, discussion and also facilitating this process. So uh, it's, it's our pleasure to, to have you uh, supporting uh, this event today. We would also like to, to thank the RG for their continued support from the first series until today. And uh, we will be with them to um, work together synthesizing what we've been learning in the past three, four months in the four series of webinar. We would also recognize the support from our uh, partners uh, like um, USAID, NICFI from Norway, uh, FAO in Rome and Jakarta, and UNEP uh, in Nairobi and also uh, other places there where they have people joining and supporting this event. So it has been very, very uh, fruitful processes in the past three months when we try to uh, synthesize and try to identify what, what we've been learning with regard to uh, peatland, tropical peatland restoration. And certainly, thank to all of you, the participants who have been uh, registering and uh, some of you have been attending this uh, for three, four times. Uh, your, um, uh, faithfulness has been very uh, um, supportive to, to us and, and we recognize that as we look at the, the list of participants. So um, in trying to wrap up what we've been learning in the past three webinars, let me share with you a kind of um, summary or um, expression from the previous webinar about what we've been doing so far. So um, when ba Nasir opening up this session three months ago, he uh, underlined the importance of biophysical aspect when they started the operation of BRG. So it was very much uh, the biophysical, the environmental issues when they were trying to um, implement the BRG agenda. And uh, as the time goes by, the economic and the social aspect of, of course was engaged, but uh, the emphasis was very much on restoration, physical uh, issues, environmental issues. I think, I think this, is, this is quite natural. Being, being a biophysicist myself, I would do the same and perhaps tend to ignore the rest. And uh, in fact, uh, it's reached out now. And um, if we are, if we are an economist, maybe we will do the same. We emphasize our work on the economic aspect and try to reach out or cover or engage with environmental or social issues. Again, that's great in their own right. Uh, likewise, if we are, we are social scientists or social worker, uh, NGO type of activities, uh, I think people are in the center of all business. And gradually we start to understand what's the environment implication, what's the economic perspective of that. So we, we've been going to all kinds of direction. And that's why we, we try to uh, nurture what are the important uh, issues in those aspects. So, we, we tried to look at the environmental issues in the beginning uh, when we started off uh, three months ago, and then looking at the economic 
and the social aspect. Certainly, we, we've been learning a lot of overlap or some overlap uh, between those three aspects, uh, as we discussed about uh, raising the awareness about uh, improving the, the household income, etc. Those are overlapping. One thing which was missing that we tried to do it in the last webinar is the governance issues. So this will be embracing all these things. Environmental issues need to be governed. Economic objective need to be governed as well as the social uh, imperative. So governance should be overarching thing that again, we are trying to embrace and try to work with people who've been working on this area. So in this series, we've been working like a marathon during the pandemic. <laughs> one by one in the past three months, uh, we've been trying to understand what are those things. And we still rather puzzled. That's why we need you to, to get together here uh, to again confirm that what we've been identifying has been, uh, you know, it's a common sense. It's uh, understandable. It is, uh, yes, logical. But we need to validate data if that is really true. So today, we will have to synthesize this with the help of all these resource person I mentioned, 20 people uh, working with us today, as well as your contribution as partners, as participants in the discussion later. So this series of webinar has been a very um, long, but uh, with pertinent and, and also determined uh, objective. And uh, we are privileged to have you all here as a resource person discuss on, et cetera. We, we will have very long day today in terms of um, speaking, but uh, to make that short, we organize the session in such a way that we will be learning in a very particular area that we are interested in. I heard that the um, uh, biophysical people will be uh, dominating in, in the participant list, but many more coming for the economic and, and social issues, uh, but certainly governance issue is very interesting to, to learn more uh, today. So after the uh, plenary, we will be split up to uh, four working group. So you've been as participant registering yourself and pick your choice which session you would like to go and you will be migrated automatically when we are breaking out to the uh, session. And we, we run that in parallel in, in one hour. So we have relatively a lot of time to discuss these particular uh, aspects in our own liking and our own interests. And uh, please uh, nurture this issue and help the facilitator and, and, and speaker to you know, broaden the, the uh, perspective so that we, we will be able to synthesize what we as community of work uh, trying to understand about restoring peatland in the future. So we will be gathering back in the plenary room and uh, Harris will later be uh, wrapping up uh, what we've been learning, not only today, but in the past three months or so. And uh, we will be guided also how to, to move on next year. We argue with new jacket and suddenly uh, new ideas and, and objective, etc. So we look forward to that. And uh, we are uh, going to be with everybody, all the stakeholders to deliver what we've been learning together in the past three months by having set of identified principle criteria and indicator on those aspects, uh, biophysical, social, economic, and, and governance. So with that, uh, we would like to familiarize ourselves and next year we hopefully will be able to validate those so that the knowledge that we are exchanging today and in the past three webinars will be useful for the betterment of our peatland, which are threatened, which are growing, but also uh, facing a lot of uh, pressure. So without further ado, I would like to invite uh, Budi, who is going to uh, talk on behalf of BRG, because uh, Nasir 
uh, for some reason cannot uh, be with us uh, for something that he cannot avoid. Uh, Prabudi? Thank you, Pak Daniel. Uh, greeting to all of uh, participants. I am not switching on camera because it's supposed to be delivered by Pak Nasir. <laughs> so first of all, BRG would like to convey our gratitude to the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, to C4, of course, and all supporting institutions, organizations, and initiatives such as FAO, UNEP, NICFI, USAID, as well as GPI for enabling this four series of webinar on exploring the criteria and indicator for tropical peatland restorations. We are now at the fourth of the webinar series with the synthesis and way forward to conclude the webinar series run since September this year. SPRG, our main task is to coordinate and facilitate restorations of tropical peatland in Indonesia, mainly in the seven provinces of Riau, Jambi, Sumatera Selatan, Kalimantan Barat, Kalimantan Tengah, Kalimantan Selatan, and Papua. Restoration of degraded peatland should be conducted in careful actions that start or accelerate the recovery of degraded peatland and should also be a significant phase to stop further damage or loss. As an ecosystem, tropical peatland is also dynamic and quite diverse. The underlying costs for its degradations are also as complex as its ecosystem process. The four proper interventions are required to adaptive approach towards the restorations. PRG need the support from the scientific community and research institutions, as well as stakeholders to enable us carrying out science and technology-based restorations, while taking also into consideration the socioeconomic and governance aspect of restorations. Thus, this webinar series is very important to explore and assess and recommend the use of criteria and indicators that are easy to recognize, measures, and monitor over time and are also locally relevant. The selected criteria and indicators should have a balanced approach covering all four aspects that Daniel has mentioned, biophysical, social, economic, and governance. At various occasions, the president has reminded that the restoration should be conducted at the landscape or pit hydraulical unit level. Thus suggests the need to explore the criteria and indicator for the landscape slash PHO scale restorations. Since the restorations of degraded peatland requires a long-term commitment, the discussions on criteria and indicator of governance aspect is expected also to indicate governance at landscape level. Nearing the terms of PRG for the year 2016 to 2020, PRG would like to ask us all to also explore progressive indicators for measuring and monitoring restoration success. The progressive indicators will be instrumental in monitoring the continuations of restoration of degraded peatlands and laying foundations for consolidated restoration actions of all stakeholders and all level from village to national level. To all participants, PRG would like to convey our appreciations to your support and discuss thoroughly the criteria and indicator for peatland restorations so that we can measure the changing behavior and practices of key st stakeholders, including the enforcement of private sector. I wish you all fruitful deliberations and PRG is looking forward to continuous collaborations in the future. So that's the uh, keynote uh, from Pak Nasir that I was asked to deliver to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pak Budi. That was very inspiring, especially when we hear about the progressiveness of the thing that we are discussing here, criteria and indicator. That makes our uh, future work even busier because anything is not 
everything is not set on stone. It will be dynamic. It will be moving around, uh, following the progress of our understanding and the challenges uh, on the ground. So I think it's a good reminder how we should be behaving ourselves, maybe as as assessor, scientists, or uh, body of work in in peatland restoration. Thank you. That's very inspiring.